الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you all brothers and sisters. I had a question from brother Abdul Samad. I would like to explain so that all of you can benefit. Famun, there is no shadda. It means? Okay. When you use <clears throat> famun, then it declines normally. It's not part of a small khamsa. Huh? Just normal. Famun, and then faman, and then famin. Okay, brother? Huh? Now, give it a, a pronoun. Uh, attached a pronoun, so what will it become? Famuhu, uh, or famahu, or famihi, uh, like that. Uh. Famuhu, famu, huma, famu, hum. Are you with me? Now, if you say fu only, okay, and then you attach pronoun. When you attach pronoun, if you remove meme, are you with me, brother and sister? The meaning is still same. Huh? And then you will have to say Fuhu. Here what will you say? From normal. But if you use meme out of it, uh, if you remove meme out of it, and then you will say Fuhu. And then the vow will come which is the way we uh, decline a small khamsa. Are you with me? Like Abu, Ahu, Zu. Remember how we write Zu? Then you will do like that, Fu. Now, Zu, brother and sister, as you know, is always mudaf. That is why Wao is there. Huh? You will say Vu Hulukin. Are you with me, brother? So Zu came as a mudaf. So Vau is there. Is it marfu? Yeah. What is the sign of its being marfu? Vau. Now if I say Fu, is it marfu? What is the sign of its marfu? Wow. But if I say Famuhu, is it marfu? What is the sign of its marfu? Dhamma. So this is your primary ending, and this is your secondary ending. Fara'i, yeah? This is asli, and this is fara'i. Are you with me, brother and sister? Both are correct. Badhavda Samad, Badhasan. You can say famuhu, but if you say without meme, then it will be fuhu. Fuhu, and then fahu. And then Are you with me? This is how it will decline. But if you say famuhu, then you will say famahu, and then you will say fami. Hey, got the idea? See here, mean stays. You give original, primary vowel signs: eh? dhamma, fata, and kasra. Why did I give kasra here? Is it a grammar rule? No, no, it's a phonetic. Huh? Inshallah. Huh? But here, brothers and sisters, fuhu will become fahu and then it will become fihi. Huh? Why? Because now there is no meme there. But the meaning is same. Mouth. We are still talking about mouth. Where? Huh? Where? Fa? No. If it, you know, fa, 
Okay? Here, fa, but then there is no mean. So we, it becomes part of a small khamsa. Are you with me? What, is, what are a small khamsa? Abu, Ahu, Zu, and Hamu, and Fu. Sahih? Those are a small khamsa. Give me, then it is no longer part of a small khamsa. It becomes normal. Famuhu, no vow. Fama, who, no alif. Famihi, no ya. Take out meem, then it becomes huhu, fahu, fihu. Yes, sister uh, Mamuna? Same, meaning is same, sister. Meaning is same. Still mudaf mudafilihi. Still mudaf mudafilihi. His mouth, same. But the spelling rules changed. Huh? Here it is original signs, and here it is secondary signs. Inshallah, inshallah, clear. Yeah, you could describe a different kind of mouth or so. No, 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 <laughs> no, brother Abdul Samad. Same mouth. But then, sisters, we come to section number ba, page number seventeen. Now, here I have to again remind you that now we are learning three kinds of uh, vowels. Signs, huh? three kinds, brother. What are they, brothers and sisters? One is no. One is the primary. Are you with me? What is the primary? Don dan din. And what is the secondary? Different. Like Musanna has alif and ya. Jama Mudakar Salim has uh, wow and noon. These are all secondary. And then what is the third one? Estimated. Mukaddara. So we got to think about these three things whenever we see a noun. Or even when we see the verb. Now we are doing verb. So whenever you see a noun or a verb, but only mudharya. Because madi and amar are mavni. They don't change. But mudharya undergoes change. And that change is not declension, but it is called moods of mudharya. What is it called? Mood Zah Mudariya. And then again we have to take into consideration the primary vowel signs, the secondary vowel signs, or the estimated vowel signs. And what is estimated vowel signs? Mukaddara. Are you with me? Mukaddara. From Kaddara, Yukaddiru, Mukaddir, and then Mukaddar. Ismu Maf'ul. So, brothers and sisters, fil af'al, al mu'arab wal mabniyu min al af'ali. Is everybody with me, brothers and sisters? Hmm? Seventeen. Al fi'lu madi wal fi'lu amri mabniyani. They are. Mabani. They do not undergo any change. They stay as they are. Well, fi'lul mudariyu mu'arabun. It changes, declines. Illa, brother, what is illa? Except. Huh? Except. Iza ittasalat. Ittasalat. B, remember? Connected with what? He. He goes to the verb. Nunu huh? Niswa. Ah. Why Nunu Niswa? What is so special about Nunu Niswa? Mabni. Mabni. Remember? So when it is connected, the verb is connected with Nunu Niswa, for Yakunu, Mabni, and then it becomes Mabni. Brothers and sisters, also write down one more. Huh? This is this is one situation where the fail mudariya becomes mabni, and then there is another situation. It's called nunu taukidi. Can you write down nunu taukidi, brothers and sisters? 